Hello everyone. So today I have re-zeroed this uh, uh, Palmetto AR-15 with this primary 5 to 25 by 56 scope um, for uh, Wolf 223. Okay. So previously um, I had zeroed this for um, uh, for 22 long rifle. Okay, because I've been because 22 long rifle it basically gives us the ability to do lots of shooting. And the nice thing about 22, um, it is going to have a similar drop at 200 yards uh, that a 5.56 has at 700 yards. Okay, so on a 200 yard range, we can practice with two, with 22 long rifle as if though we're shooting a 5.56 at 700 yards. Okay, so uh, so that's a great tool. Okay, so uh, in order to do that, you got to have one of these CMMG conversion bolts. So what I've got right now is I've got a target at 50 yards. And what I have figured out that the adjustment is three mils. Okay, so right now with the uh, 556 bolt, okay, I have this set to the zero position. Okay, we're gonna take three shots, right? And then what I'm gonna do after taking three shots is I'm gonna put the 22 conversion bolt in and I'm gonna adjust off three mils. It's actually 2.5, but since 22 long rifle sometimes a little bit wonky, um, I'm going to give myself just a little bit extra height. So uh, instead of going up 2.5, I'm going to go up three. Okay, so I'm favoring the, the slightly high side. Okay. Right, so good old steel case made in Russia by Putin. Good old Putin. Too bad the guy didn't have a good uh you guys should have had like a, a better PR uh, campaign, you know, uh, over the last 10 years. So, uh, definitely getting like a PR shaft. But anyway, we're about to open. All right, we're just going to take three shots. All right, so. So with a scope like this, you always got to come back here and check your top turn, right? Your elevation, make sure that it's in the right spot. And when you're done shooting, basically, like if you use any elevation, you want to basically come back and make sure that you're at zero. So the next time you're starting off in the zero position, okay? So 50 yards with the uh, 223. Got to dial back a little bit so I can find my target. Yeah, there's two bullseyes on this. So the top one is going to be for the 223. The bottom one's gonna be for the 22 long rifle. So I'm gonna zoom in, I'm gonna go all the way up to 25 power so I can see the tip of that chevron. Put my safety off. Okay, I pulled it, but still, it's, it's in the area. Pulled it a little bit. Um, all right, so now, take that off. I'm gonna open this up. Put in the 22 conversion bolt. So I've been using this Federal Automax. We're getting it at Walmart, so it's pretty good. So we're going to put five in there just because 22 is sometimes a little bit wonky. So we're going to dial off three. We're going to favor high because the three is actually landing in between the three and like a three point like oh one. Right. Safety on. I'm going to dial down a little bit so I can find my, my target. Up. Right, we're going to the bottom target.
I forgot to check my bubble before. I got a little bubble thing over here. I just I gotta get into the habit of checking my bubble because I didn't do it before with the uh, with the two two three with with the with the wolf two two three. Okay, so I'm saying get into the habit of just dialing down back down to zero. So uh, now one of the things I did do is I did put because for a couple of days I had the exposed um, windage turret that comes with this, and I put on the uh, I, I took off the the exposed one, and I put on the one that has the cap and that's closed. Uh, because yeah, I had this thing slung over my back and uh, you know going through the woods and. The windage one did get shifted a little bit. I, I found out now with the with the elevation one. If this like hits your back or something and gets shifted, that's not a big deal because this has a st uh, you know this is a locking turn. So we're always going to be wherever with it, this is. We're always going to come back to that zero position. Okay. Um. So so you know that's we got again. I, I'm just kind of uh trying to um make a habit out of this right because working with the scope. Uh, is is like a new thing for me. I'm not used to working with these locking turns, uh, so I just I'm just trying to build up the right habits. Uh, let's go look at the target down there. All right, so 50 yards. So the top one uh, is the, uh, the the Wolf 223, and the bottom one uh, is the the 22 long rifle. Uh, after after adjusting it up three mils okay um so i part of the reason why i'm doing this video is so i have a reference point if i'm out in the field and i forget i can uh check out my videos and one of the things that we figured out uh in the, in the past week is at 200 yards the the elevation for the 22 long rifle is six mils okay so i gotta dial up three mils at 50 yards Okay, and then from there, I got to dial up another six mils uh, to, at 200 yards. Okay, so basically at 200 yards, um, I would be going from the three position to the nine position to be dialed in at 200 yards. Okay, so fun stuff, fun little project with uh, with this uh, primary arms 5 to 25 by uh, 56 scope. Hey, everyone. I just had the most amazing freaking group at 200 yards in these lighting conditions, right? Using this uh, uh, primary arms 5 to 25 by 56 uh, scope on this Palmetto uh, 16 inch upper. Okay, it's on an aerial, uh, it's on an aerial lower that I built. So uh, I did a video where uh, actually my goal today was just to basically just zero re-zero this rifle in uh for uh, uh for 50 yards because i had with with, with uh 223556 because prior i had it zeroed in with 22 long rifle using a 22 conversion bolt so i already did a video where where um basically i put the 223s up here and i was shooting the 22s down here okay so um you know and basically i i already i saw that it's basically a three mil adjustment right it's a three mil up adjustment on the turret uh going from a from a from a um a 556 to a 22 long rifle okay so i'm hitting here at 50 yards um initially i uh i was shooting this this wolf over here right this uh this wolf 223 and then i've got this other one this wolf gold over here so you know what? let's throw it in and see what this group looks like at 50 yards okay so uh, I take uh, I take uh, five shots and I've got like two touching here and three touching here and I know and I've already figured out why I uh, uh, the reason why they're like separated but touching is because I forgot to check the uh, the bubble on the back of you can't even see it now because it's so dark I forgot to check the bubble on the back of the rifle so that's the difference that not checking the bubble does you know make, to make sure that the gun is not canted so I got three shots touching here and two shots touching there so anyway I'm like you know what let me take this out to 200 yards because I'm really curious uh, what the impact's going to look like at 200 yards. So what I did with the at 200 yards, since there was just so much clutter over here, uh, I and I, 
you know, I said, let me use the one on the bottom where prior I was using the, uh, um, the, uh, uh, the 22 long rifle down here. And, you know, I wasn't expecting anything spectacular, which is the reason why I didn't like bother to get a fresh piece of paper. So I threw five shots at 200 yards, like in like really low light conditions. So here's the thing, uh, in, in, in 25 power, it's like, it got, really dark if i dial back to 20 power i could see that it got brighter but at 20 power i couldn't see the bullseye so i dialed up to 25 power where the over overall it's darker but i can kind of see this bullseye so i'm kind of holding on this as best as i can with the tip of the chevron underneath it and look at these five shots right you got one two three four five at 200 yards a two inch group with this wolf gold okay uh, in low light conditions. I mean, I, that is really astonishing, man. How, uh, I, I mean, I mean, first of all, this wolf is really good ammo. Palmetto makes damn good, uh, damn good uppers. And then this scope is like magic, okay? Uh, this 525 by 56. I mean, it is just, it is just magic, man. Um, you can't even see shit now. I mean, it was. I mean, it was a little bit. I had a little bit more sunlight earlier. I, I shot the groups like five minutes before I started doing this video over here. Uh, I try to get here as fast as I can while I still have a little bit of light, so you guys can kind of see uh, what's going on. But look at that shit, man. Two hundred yards, two inch group. Um, I mean, that's 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 amazing. I mean, that is freaking amazing for Palmetto, and and this freaking Wolf Gold ammunition.